City Chic has the worst lighting in their change rooms and it just gets you at the wrong angles and I just always think, oh, that does not look good on me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video. So today's video is another one of my dressing room try on videos and as you guys can tell by the title, I went over to City Chic. Now, most of you are familiar with City Chic, especially if you clicked on this video. They are a plus size store, and here in Australia, we don't have too many of those. Now, I know growing up, City Chic was probably the only store that had plus size clothing that I knew of, that I could shop at, and it was a, such a go-to for me. I'm so glad that now, as I'm older, there are a lot more like online stores and other stores that do stock plus size, so therefore, you know, we have more places to shop at. Now, a lot of people have mixed feelings about City Chic. I do know the prices are a little bit higher than what you would get from the other stores. Now, I personally, from my previous experience in the stuff that I've bought, feel that City Chic is actually good quality, and a lot of the stuff that I've bought has lasted me time and time and time like years later i haven't bought anything too recently and i have noticed especially when you do online shopping they do have other brands in their website that aren't city chic and i don't know about that quality of that clothing but they have the city chic price tag now i do find sometimes i like to be a bargain shopper but when i want something more classical and something to last me i don't mind spending the coin if it's going to look good on me i guess at the end of the day we just want things to look good on us so in saying that let's get started with some of the stuff that i tried on now i will say i did go to three different city chics and i've said this in my vlog because i was vlogging while i was doing it they have great customer service because someone is constantly like talking to you trying to help you but as someone like me who wasn't looking to buy anything I kind of felt like let me just try them on so therefore that's why I go to three different ones because I just feel like if I brought five things into the change room I wouldn't be left alone and then I found that every time I leave the change room they ask me why I don't want to buy something and I just feel like I'm put on the spot to give a reason and then on one occasion I literally just said it's the price like it's too expensive and she said oh so what if it was on sale would you buy it and I thought isn't that asking me too many questions anyway as I said let's get started with the video so the first item that I tried on was this really cute black and white kind of sailor looking dress now I tried this on in a size large now this is typically a style that I would go for is something that I like. The top has a jersey like knit sort of fabric up the top and it's joined together with the bottom which it looks like a skirt and top but it's actually a dress. And the fit is more of like a straight skirt which is like a nice pencil skirt the style that I particularly like. Now the size large fit me really well. I love the top. I thought it was so cute. The little like tie up just over here very cute had the like straps I love the like stripes going down and then I like that the skirt was a different fabric I feel like if it was jersey it would be too thin the fabric that they had was stretchy as well but it was kind of more like pants material if that makes sense there was also a belt in the middle the loops you could make them smaller bigger I liked that I love a good belt moment I just feel like that's the style that I like it cinches you in at the waist and it looks really put together this style was definitely cute, definitely something that I would wear. I feel like, but because of the back being really quite open, I never noticed the back of things because I can't see the back of me. I really like, I really like the dress, but I feel like too much of my bra would be showing at the back and I would therefore need to wear a cardigan or I just wear a black bra and don't care. That's what I usually do. But nevertheless, I did really like this dress and it's definitely a stanzy dress. That dress retails for $129.95. Next up, sort of on the same wavelength, I tried on this navy dress in a size extra large. Now this dress did not have stretch, that's why I thought I'd up for an extra large. And I feel like the size fit me pretty good. I love the navy, I love the little like piping on the outside of the dress. And I thought it was really cute, it was kind of giving me 1950s vibes. I'm thinking like a ship and you're saying bye to like your husband going off to sea. 
and I like the little pockets. They were cute. I don't know how functional they would have been because as in to keep your pocket hands in the pockets because they were in a weird spot, but you could definitely put keys or something in there. I really like the faux buttons at the front. You have the straps and the straps were nice and thick because my bra straps are usually thick. So I like the straps to be thick to cover that. And it had the nice little A line that came out and made it really girly and pretty. I really love the look of this dress. I don't know where I would wear it to me personally, but I do love like it gives there's a moment so if you're going to go out somewhere i feel like the navy with pair it with red would look so good that one retails for 129.95 next up i saw another skirt that was definitely my style so i grabbed it in a double xl now it was white with pinstripes and i thought that was really pretty and it's also like a really classical style it's a very structured skirt and i feel like this style is very timeless and it's definitely a lovely work skirt. That's where I picture wearing it. It's, it had lining underneath, which is good because you don't want, you know, when you're wearing white or ivory, it tends to be see-through. So especially if you're going to work, you definitely don't want any see-through. But the star of the show was the back that had the nice zipper that went all the way down through. Loved that. I do find City Chic you, reuses this pattern because I have tried on skirts like this with the zipper that goes all the way through many times before. So I know the style. I like it. And as far as I can see, they just tend to kind of change up the fabric and the colors. So it is something that gets reused. So in a way, it is something that if you buy it, you keep it for quite a long time. And now the like white with the pinstripes would look really pretty for summer with a nice black shirt. It would look really good. The skirt didn't have stretch to it, so I opted for the double XL because I didn't want it to be tight. And I feel like that was a very good size for me. That skirt did not have a price tag on my tag, so I will look it up online and pop it on the screen. Next up, I saw this lovely lavender dress in a maxi, and I was like, that's my color, I need to try you on. So I grabbed it in a size large, and I feel like large fit me really, really well. So the top bit is all shirt, it has the elastic all the way through. I like that the straps were nice and thick, and it was a nice maxi that fell to the floor. I really like the detail at the bottom of the dress with all that kind of lacing look. That was really pretty. The dress also had lining underneath, which I really like because it helps it sit really nicely and it helps it not be see-through, which is something that I found a lot of the more inexpensive stores don't have the lining underneath and a lot of the stuff is see-through. So I quite like that they have put lining in their clothing. The dress was comfortable, definitely one that you would get a lot of wear out of. I feel like if you just pop in some sandals or even your thongs, you could wear it, you could dress it up, dress it down, nice and flowy, and especially when it's hot, we all love something nice and flowy. I find having the shearing up the top does make the dress a little bit more casual, but as I said, you could definitely dress it up if you wanted to. That one retails for $129.95. Next up, as I've been on a denim shorts kick, I've been trying them on pretty much in all the stores I've been going to, I thought I'd grab a pair from City Chic. Now I grabbed ones that came down to the knee, so they're kind of, they're shorts, but they're a little bit longer. And I love the style up the top because it has that corset look that I have on my jeans that I absolutely love. I feel like that size fits and suits me really, really well. I tried these on in a size 22 and I tried them on in the black. I thought they sat really, really nicely on. They were nice and like snug and just so much stretch and plenty of room to move. They had functional pockets at the front and the back and I just really really like them I especially love the corset bit you, if you guys know I have three pairs of jeans with that corset look because it's just the style that I absolutely love I do think that they fit me really well and these are something that I would wear constantly like summer after summer until they fell apart as in the, me rubbing my legs to the middle tore them apart they did also come in a blue, I'm pretty sure. As I said, they had plenty of stretch to them and they were very, very comfortable and I really like them. They retail for $79.95. The next few items I tried on at the clearance center. Now these are things that you could either find, there's quite a few in Sydney, like the clearance centers, but also they're usually in the sale section on the website. So I still thought I'd try them on to show you guys in case you want to have a look. So the first item that I tried on was this lovely cherry red dress. Now I grabbed it in a medium because I saw that there was stretch to it and I like the dresses like this to be a little bit more fitted up the top for me. So I think the medium fit me really well. I really liked how it had the little like cap sleeve and then had the strap over here 
and the dress had stretch which i love i love that like thick really thick jersey fabric and i feel like especially when you've got these a-line dresses it kind of falls and sways and it's really quite flattering this dress also had pockets which was really cute i mean who doesn't love a pockets moment i feel like now pockets have to be a necessity on dresses the length of the dress was really nice and plenty of room down the bottom so if you're feeling that you like something that there's a bit of room down the bottom this is definitely a dress for you i went for red because it's a pop out standout color and seeing as it's christmas coming up i feel like this is a perfect dress for any christmas festivities for any like especially now like formal season wedding season it is a season here in australia where things are like happening and we all need dresses to wear to those things so this is a really cute one for that that one originally retails for $119.95 and as far as I could see it was on sale for $85. Not a huge discount but perhaps online it might be a bit more. Next up I saw this dress on the hanger and I really love the like colour blocking down the bottom and I thought it was really pretty. So because it looked like it didn't have stretch to it I grabbed it in a double XL and the double XL was actually way too big for me up the top but nevertheless I still could put it on. I really liked that it had a belt. I mean I love belts so this was one of those really stretchy belts and you could just pop the hole anywhere you wanted to. This is a belt that you could take off and reuse on your other outfits as I probably would. I didn't really love the fit of this dress on me. It might look good on someone else. I just didn't love it on me. It looks nicer on the hanger. And maybe it was because it was a little too big. It was a nice maxi dress. And I did like the colour, but I didn't like the colour on me. Sometimes that happens where I like something and then for some reason it doesn't suit my colouring. Or it could have been in the dressing room with all the what was happening. I didn't like the look of it. That one also had lining underneath, which also helps the dress like fall down and stay. But I feel like it was a little bit too heavy on this dress and I just feel like there was so much material down the bottom it kind of felt like a wedding dress. I mean you win some, you lose some. That one originally retails for $149.95 and it was discounted to $105. And lastly, I tried on this skirt in an extra large in this lovely like deep maroon color. I love the style of this skirt. This is a similar style to skirts that I have made in the past with the lace down the bottom. I just love that look. It's so elegant. You can wear it like to work. You can wear it out. I love lace. So therefore, I really, really like this. I love the color of the skirt and I love the lace. As I said, down the bottom, really quite pretty. The skirt had stretch to it, which awesome there was elastic up the top it was a touch short in the top lace area because my shapewear that i have sits a little bit lower so i'd recommend having shapewear that sat a little bit shorter so you don't see it peeking through but then nevertheless the skirt is very elegant very pretty and i'm pretty sure it came in some other colors as well I feel like this sort of skirt suits me It's because it's the style that I like. I guess we all have our different tastes, but I love a good old-fashioned stretchy pencil skirt and with the lace down the bottom, that is me to a T. That skirt originally retails for $99.95 and it was on sale for $50. Now, half price is the kind of bargains that I like. And that is everything that I tried on over at City Chic. I will say I was a little bit disappointed this time. I feel like other times that I've gone, I've tried on things that I really, really like. And this time I was kind of like, some, some stuff was okay. I kind of liked it, but there was nothing that I absolutely like loved that I would spend my coin on. In a way, I'm kind of happy about that because the coin that I don't really have stays in my pocket. But comment down below and let me know what was your favourite item that I tried on today. And also, have you been shopping at City Chic lately? If you have, comment down below and let me know what you've bought because I'm really interested to know. And that's the end of today's video, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like dressing room try-ons and vlogs and beauty and other stuff, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.